I felt like after that shoot the other day, oh, I needed a little bit of redemption. Also, I needed to come somewhere where I couldn't fall down. So I'm at a place that I have shot many times. I'm here at Red Rock Canyon. I thought somewhere familiar might be a little bit better, almost to like wash the taste out of my mouth <laughs> of that experience, because <laughs> it was so bad. And today, um, if you watched my last video where I talked about shooting with vintage FD lenses, um, we're back with another FD lens. And today I have the 50 millimeter uh, F1.4 and the 28 millimeter F2.8 in my bag. Today's sunset was rated rather high, though there are a decent amount of low clouds here. So we're either gonna end up with a lot of glow um, and not a lot of color, or maybe color and it'll be kind of masked by these clouds. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully it kind of really kind of comes up and over. We'll see. Um, and I've got this second shot right here uh, where I'm actually starting to see some color come through it's this really nice kind of vista. I was really kind of hoping that this cloud that's kind of up above me back behind me here was gonna really pick up some color but it's moved on so that's that's not gonna be what we what we get. So again I'm shooting at ISO 100. I'm using my histogram to set my exposure which is gonna put my my shutter speed at 1 250th right now. Right now I'm at f8, which this lens performs really well at f8. So I'm gonna keep it right there. So that basically puts me at infinity. So I feel pretty good about that. And just waiting for the light. So while I'm waiting for this to decide if it wants to be big or small, <laughs> I'm going to turn my attention over here and just get a little bit of what I've got here. It's cold out here. And I, I like this because it's simple. It's very kind of simple composition. Keeping my eye on the sky over here. This is really starting to come up too. I'm starting to see reds out in the east. This, this side is still very gray, so nothing there. But Lots of red out there. Starting to see a little bit of pink out here. Gonna just double check my focus. Again, focus to infinity. <laughs> so I just realized that I didn't have the lock ring turned on uh, all the way on my adapter. So my lens hadn't actually stopped down like it was supposed to. So my exposure is completely off. Um, so now quickly, I'm going to switch here out of my zoom mode and I've got, I've just very quickly dropped down my exposure here. And now to get where I wanna be in my histogram, I'm actually at one fourth of a second at ISO 100. Whew, I'm glad I looked at that. I'm gonna set my two second timer. This side of my composite, this is gone. This isn't gonna happen, but this is getting brighter and brighter. I'm very glad that I chose the 50 mil, which isn't a 
common uh, focal length that I would use for landscapes, but I just, I love the way that it's framing this image. It's really a great focal length for this. So I had come hoping to shoot this over here, <laughs> saw that and thought it might be good. And this is actually what happened. And now at F11, and I am at about a half a second, I'm actually going to do a panorama. The light's starting to fade a little bit, but now we're getting even more contrast on those, on those just waves of windblown clouds. The color just keeps changing going from like bright orange and red to kind of a magenta and a pink. There's kind of a, almost like a pink haze coming up over the mountain there. It's definitely a refreshing change from the shots that I had the other day. definitely did not disappoint. It keeps, it keeps changing. So I felt like it's been a while and a couple of photo shoots <laughs> trying to get an epic sunset. Um, and I finally got one. <sighs> you know, trial and error. I will say that I want to throw a plug in for the app that I use to track um, sunrises and sunsets, it's called Alpen Glow. I'll link it down in the description. And the, uh, the developer has really done what I think is a very nice job, um, both in creating things like notifications for a good quality sunrise and sunset. And I'm happy to support it because it, honestly, it helps me a lot. Um, one thing that I've got to watch out for here in Las Vegas is that there can be a phenomenal sunset, but if there's no clouds <laughs> or no drama or any sort of um, action in the scene, it doesn't really help me much. Um, you know, and to be able to utilize these lenses, these older style lenses, and still get amazing photos. If you like videos like this, I, I don't get a lot of traction on my photo adventure videos. Um, not a lot of likes and comments or subscribers. Uh, I get a lot of that on my gear reviews and news videos. But if you're a fan of stuff like this, this is what I love doing. I, I like those videos too, they're, they're fun because I love talking about all that technical stuff, but this is what I need to do more of, not just for my channel, but for myself. Uh, it's better for my health, <laughs> both physical and mental. Um, so I'm excited for this year and excited to get out more. I'm um, excited that I was able to redeem myself a little bit after that last one. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing this year. Let me know what your plans are. I'm going to Death Valley next weekend, so hopefully uh, I'll get stuff like that. Could you, oh man, my, my hope is that I end up seeing stuff like that at Death Valley. If I do, oh man, that'll make the trip totally worth it. Uh, and if not, it's still a great experience. And part of the reason why I think this particular uh, outing ended up as productive as it did is because I've been here before. Uh, although I've never actually shot that direction. I normally shoot the mountains, uh, the Red Rock peaks that way. So 
come to an old place and shoot new stuff. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you in the next one.